Hi, I'm Nathan. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Alan Heath SQ series. Specifically, we're going to talk about Reverb. And this is kind of a part two to my other video that I quickly put together for uh, my effects. But today we're going to be talking about Reverb, specifically the Hall 480. Uh, we're going to be comparing that with the Waves uh, Hall 480 from their H Reverb suite or plugin and we're and then we're going to do some special sauce and see how we can make the normal SQ 480 sound even better. Uh, so let's get into it. So basically the gist of this video is I uh, I was reading a bunch of Facebook comments and uh, about a post about SQ reverbs or Allen Heath reverbs in general and they were saying that they had to do a lot of frequency shaping and uh, EQ and stuff to get them to sound right and they just didn't like them and fair enough you know everyone has their opinion and I just want to investigate that and so I you know I I don't have hardware with me that I can uh, I don't have 480 sitting on a desk somewhere uh, nothing good anyways but what I can do is compare to waves I you know I've I've watched their videos on how they produce their their plugins, and basically they you know they take a bunch of measuring equipment, oscopes, and all that kind of stuff, and uh, take measurements of the equipment, and then they throw it in a mat in MATLAB and have it generate a algorithm that emulates what they're trying to do, and they vary all the knobs and everything. And so you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna trust that Reverb, not yeah Waves, put in the time and the effort to make uh, make the reverbs authentic. And so I'm, that's gonna be my gold standard, um, but it's maybe not the gold standard. Uh, I gotta trust someone somewhere though. And uh, so I just kinda wanted to get into things uh, with, with talking about it. And um, so while I was doing that, I, you know, I spent hours looking around at a bunch of different, you know, when you see here, I already got my Abbey Ribs Chambers, um, I was messing around with that, and then I I ended up settling on, I needed to focus down and to just settle on something, so I got H Reverb, and I came in here, and I did load, and I loaded, I, I played with everything, what I found, hey, they have hardware, they have a hardware 480, and you can just set the large hall, and boom, you know, there's a basic setup, and I was like, okay, well, let's see, you know, that probably sounds good, so let's try to see what we can do with Wave or with the SQ to make it sound good. And uh, so that was my thinking, my thought process. So he, basically, what I've done is I have uh, Reaper routed to um, not that altar. There we go. Most best trick for Reaper. Basically, I, I routed the tracks to my SQ, and then I brought them back into Reaper, and then I sent them back out to out to um, the SQ. So now I've got some some routing things that I can do, and uh, I for the sound. So I always am curious about this when I'm watching other people's videos. There is so my microphone is uh, it's got a compressor and then a eq on it and a denoiser and those things just help clean it up some and then um the output has a negative 2b 2db hard limiter so that i can't mess with something when i say output what i mean is is uh i've patched my mix out left and right I got a couple reference monitors beside me, and then I also got them going to my interface for recording. That's going to OBS, and then I'm recording and all that kind of good stuff. And um, so I, yeah, so that's that's the basic setup. This is the Mix Wizards files, and I will link his video in the description. And basically, that is I I downloaded his multi track, and then I just been playing with it because it's really simple, short, sweet, single song, um, condensed files, not too big, all that good stuff. Okay, so that's kind of the setup and everything. Um, so let's just get into it. Let's let's listen to a reverb. So what I'm going to do is I've been messing with this, so I'm going to go to reverb. I'm going to go down to Hall 480, and we're going to recall that, and we're going to just listen to it by itself. And if I hit spacebar in that, that doesn't do anything. 
Okay, so. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you. We praise you. This is what freedom feels like. Pretty good, maybe a little too much high frequency energy. Let's listen to Hall Large. Yeah, it sounds decent. Okay, let's listen to the Reaper. So that's this one. So if we turn off, you hear the dry signal. Turn back on. Maybe a little quieter, so turn turn the output up. Okay, so they're similar, but maybe not the same, right? Um, so what can we do about that? Well, let's just look at the settings. So reverb time, let's taint, let's, uh, I start out, let's just go back to hall, um, I, that was hall large, I meant to do, anyways, let's go back to hall 480 and turn the pre-delay down, because there, there isn't, uh, right here, there isn't any. And it'll turn the time down to 336. And then, so over here we've got a cutoff at 2392. So the high frequency cutoff, we'll take that down to 2392. Oh, two. 2390 kilohertz. There we go. And then we've got, so I think this dampening is kind of like their, de their uh, high frequency decay. Not quite sold on it. I don't know exactly, you know, but I'm just listening with it and playing around with it. That's kind of what I got. So, uh, so we're at 2K. So just bring it all the way down, blah, blah, blah. And then this high frequency slope determines kind of the slope distance or uh, speed. Uh, I, you know, lower means higher frequencies. Higher numbers mean lower frequencies. You can hear that. So let's listen to this. So you... All high frequencies got pulled out. We can open it up. Okay, so say something like 3.2, something like that. Okay, so honestly, I mean, between these two, they sound pretty, pretty similar. You know, I mean. It's not half bad. If, if I'm going to say wait, I mean, I don't obviously I don't have the hardware, but I'm, if I'm going to say waves is my gold standard and, and this is what I'm going for, then then I can get that same exact thing on on my SQ or nearly the same. Um, so that's, you know, that's great. And. Uh, but I think we could take this a little further, right? I think uh, Mix Wizard showed us something special in one of his first videos. And that was the deesser, and so that you can kind of see in here. And so here's my idea: Let, let's use the deesser on the reverb. But you say, Nathan, I don't have a way to add a compressor or a deesser on my reverb. Oh, but you do. You could actually, you actually could add an actual deesser using the insert on one of these things. Uh, you could insert one of the effect engines onto I'm I should digress because it's probably getting confusing. So let's start simple. I'll explain that in a second. So what I did is I have you know you have these four FX engines. You have eight FX engines, but you have four with dedicated sins. All of them have dedicated returns. So what I did was I used aux six as my send to FX engine six. So when I click on this you see FX6 return, that's engine six. So what we can do is, I've already got this kind of set up the way I wanted it. And uh, so it's just another hall 480. So the same hall, just a few different little settings, differences. Um, and then on the send, so this is the aux send, what I've done is I've set up the compressor as a peak. I change the attack time and release time really fast, high ratio, good threshold in uh, you we can see this, and then um, main most important thing is turning the side chain on and cranking that bad boy up to like two, two, three kilohertz, something like that. 
So it's listening for yeses. So we can just listen to that. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you. We praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We yeah, so I mean, you know. We praise you. And this is what living looks like. This is what freedom. So we're doing a little bit of shaping, uh, maybe a little more, but I'm kind of trying to be a parent. You know, maybe you would, you would mess with this. So it's only getting the S's. We praise you. We praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you. So, I mean, that's pretty good. And maybe we listen to this. So, oh, I mean, you've got some different sounds. This one's maybe a little more tamer on the high frequency side of things. Uh, you could even shape the in the EQ and or GQ or anything. You know, you know, however you want to do it. You know, uh, reverb, effects they're all they're really to taste they're really to the genre to the tempo of the music all those kind of things so you know it's, it's very personal and so i i couldn't really tell someone that what they're doing is good or bad i might have a preference um and their congregation or whoever the crowd the audience might have their preference and the band might have their preference but hopefully this gives you some more tools so that you can grow your craft uh, and be able to execute things the way you want to do it and get some good reverb sounds out of that Alan Heath gear because I think they do have good reverbs. i uh, sure that's opinion and maybe I'm naive and I don't get to play with all the fun fancy toys but I, I use what I have. <laughs> and uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Take care. Hey guys, so I was just editing down the video for uh, for y'all and I realized that I didn't include the reverbs in the mix and uh, that I also had the, um, I can't point, it doesn't work for you, <laughs> but I uh, I, had, I had the channel name kind of uh, covered up with my face in the thing, so I rearranged the, 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 the windows and made it better. Anyways, so I was thinking, you know, Hey, it's probably important to demonstrate this, the the different reverbs inside of the mix, and that that was probably important and useful, and I apologize for being a little too focused on just the reverbs themselves. Well, anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's listen and maybe, maybe let's mix, listen to the whole song. And of course I have everything muted. Silences 
Something for fun. Okay, so obviously I was a little heavy on the reverb, but hope you like it. Anyways, enjoy your evening, morning, night, day, what have you. Take care.